Okay, so my name is Patrick Flynn. I'm the Vice President of Strategy for a company called Cortica. Now, Cortica is the next generation of artificial intelligence. So, there's a traditional model of artificial intelligence. It's called deep learning, which you may have heard of. Deep learning works in which you take a tremendous amount of data, manually tagged data, pump that into a system to train the computer to recognize a certain object. So let's say you want to recognize a cat. You're going to take 10,000 examples of a cat, right? I would have had to sort through all the images, find pictures of cat, point to the cat, and then pump that into the computer 10,000 times. Now the computer can recognize a cat. There's some problems with that type of methodology specifically with you know, verticals or industries where you know, there's some situations that don't happen so frequently, right? So think about autonomous driving for a second, right? So there's a lot of scenarios in driving, and it's impossible to train a computer to recognize every single possible scenario. So the way that Vorticus technology is fundamentally very, very different. We take a different approach. We create an AI that kind of learns and mimics human cognitive function learns from a minimal amount of data, unstructured and raw data, and can extrapolate from there and begin to contextualize and conceptualize in the same way that you or I would. So the company is based in Tel Aviv, and we have an office in New York. Um, we've raised significant funding and have about 200 patents, and we've been around for over 10 years. So how is this technology applied? So we work in really three different verticals, three main verticals, that's autonomous driving, smart city applications, which has a lot to do with cameras, and then we also develop technology for intelligent drones. Again, our technology is software that integrates into these platforms. So maybe I can tell you a little bit about you know, what you're seeing here with the autonomous vehicle technology. This is an artificial intelligence system that's learned from a minimum, minimal amount of data, which is important because with all the edge case scenarios in automotive, you see a lot of accidents and things like that, so it's important to have a truly intelligent system. What you're seeing here is just a simple demo where the AI is able to recognize different types of concepts, right? You have pedestrians in red, you have cars in green, uh, street lights are up in yellow, you've got trucks in brown, and so forth. The AI works in all conditions, so if it's nighttime, if it's snow, rain, etc., it works. And that's very important from a safety approach, right? We need AI that can effectively drive these vehicles 100% of the time, right? Any sort of issue is really a matter of life and death. So in terms of other verticals that we work in, besides autonomous vehicles, we develop technology for intelligent drones as well as smart cameras. Now, intelligent drones, there's a uh, couple use cases there. One is security, right? You want to be able to monitor a large-scale area for any anomalies, people in places they shouldn't be, you know, things like that. But there's also an infrastructure use case that we support. So let's say you want to fly a drone, you know, sideways across a bridge to look for any tiny misalignments that maybe need to be repaired. The AI can automatically detect those, again, from a minimal amount of data. In terms of smart cameras, you know, this technology is all about you know, not just the traditional things like person detection, but also behavior analysis, right? If we're looking at a crowd and we start to see an anomaly develop within that crowd, we can alert the appropriate authorities or security agencies to take care of them. It's all about safety. So you see with you know, our autonomous vehicles, it's about safety. The same is true with drones in terms of security and infrastructure, as well as our smart city or smart camera application. It's all about making you know, a safer space for us to operate. So if you'd like to learn more, you can check us out at Cortica.com. Thanks.